let's talk big company, big company, small company, and innovator entrepreneur. And yeah. now we're gonna we're gonna shift it totally to I'm an innovator and I'm an entrepreneur and I've got this series stage company that's getting investment. Yeah. And a big company like Boeing or Lockheed Martin or GKN with the big company mentality comes down and they invest in me and then they want to, you know, how does little guy, you know, continue to develop entrepreneurial entrepreneurially without getting stifled by the big company? Yeah. And how does the big company allow the guy to, you know, invent and innovate without letting, you know, look, it, it's, it, 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 neither one is right. Neither one is yep. wrong. It's just a difference in cultures. Yeah. How do you keep the cultures from clashing? That's, that's a really good question. So um, we, we don't uh, open the doors for the first program until third week of January next year. So outside of kind of working with the, the startup ecosystem to build our first cohort, we've actually been working very closely with um, the companies on the kind of the more established side to get them kind of a bit more startup focused and startup ready. So as you, as you kind of touched on the, the established kind of company mindset and workflow is very different to what you get with a one or two um, kind of individual team on the startup side. So getting our kind of program teams at Boeing and GK and aerospace ready um, and kind of understanding the way that startups work has been a kind of a core focus of ours. Um, but also, as you kind of say, it's, it's the same the other way around. So getting a company ready to work with a company as big as Boeing, for example. Or, um, so I think it's, it's, it's a case of having everyone's expectations kind of aligned with what's um, of interest and what's actually possible. Um, and so the startups coming in, one of the things that we're, we're looking to do is to match the startup with one of our sponsors for a, a proof of concept. Um, and obviously we've only got a 12 week program. So doing, doing all of that in 12 weeks is very difficult, but to mitigate, um, some of that difficulty, we're, we're starting to define down to the actual individual who would be kind of signing off on the proof of concept, the representatives at the various kind of companies, um, as the application comes in. So, um, by the time the, the startup comes into the program in, um, January, we've already identified who would be leading the proof of concepts with Boeing or with GKN so that we can put that person in the room with the startup team from day one 